Hello students how are you I hope all of you are fine and healthy In earlier videos you have learned about certain words like is am the are this and that But for making a complete sentence we need certain more words which are very important in completing a sentence So in this video we are going to discuss and learn about those words so let's start good morning students good, good morning, morning ma'am ma how are you students i'm fine ma'am i'm good ma'am thank you for asking students are you trying to make small sentences on your own yes ma'am we are trying but ma'am There are few mistakes in the grammar part. Those mistakes make my sentence wrong. Okay students, don't worry at all. Today we will discuss about few more concepts of English which will help you to make very good and beautiful small sentences. And after that, I will also make you learn how to make sentences from a picture. Wow! We can make sentences from any picture ma'am. Okay yes. ma'am. You will be able to make very good sentences. Come, let's learn. Students, as I told you in the beginning of the video that we are going to discuss in this video some important words that are essential to make a meaningful sentence. As you can see in front of you a picture of park Children are playing. One girl is on swing, one girl is on slide, two kids are on the seesaw. Each child has a name. The trampoline girl is called Radhika, while the girl who is sitting on the swing is called Romi. The two children who are on seesaw are Virender and Sakhi. The items in the park also have a name. Like this is slide This is swing this is trampoline and this place also has a name it is called park so the naming words are called nouns a noun is a word that is used as a name of a person animal place or a thing like this boy his name is lalit This is a picture of India Gate. India Gate is a place, so this word India Gate will be used in sentence as a noun. This is a thing, apple. So apple will be used as a noun in the sentence. So let's now see some examples. Students, let's now look at the examples of noun how they are used in sentences. So in front of us there is a picture of a boy his name is Sagar So how we will use that in sentence is Sagar is a boy So in this sentence we have two nouns Sagar and boy Next we are seeing a picture of orange So the sentence will be she is eating an orange Next we are seeing a picture of park and the sentence would be like Madhu is playing in the park. This sentence has two nouns, Madhu and Park. Madhu is the name of a child and Park is the name of the place. Next sentence is Red fort is made up of red stone. This sentence also has two nouns, Red fort and Red stone. Next sentence is Rajesh is sitting on a chair. In this sentence also we have two nouns Rajesh and chair. And the last sentence is Kerala is a beautiful state. So Kerala and state. Both of these are noun. Here in this picture we can see three boys. They are Raja, Satish and Ballu. If we want to use all three of them in a sentence instead of using their names we can also say they similarly in this picture 
mother is drinking tea and her friend is also drinking tea so instead of saying two times tea we can also say it so a pronoun is a word that is used in place of a noun i he she you him her your their it we they them these are certain examples of pronoun now let's see how they are used in a sentence my name is deepak i am a boy instead of writing deepak is a boy we have used i so noun is deepak and i is a pronoun in the next sentence the name of my sister is preeti she is studying in class 2 instead of writing preeti is studying in class 2 we have written she is studying in class 2 so preeti is noun and she is pronoun next sentence raja has a horse he lives in stable so instead of horse lives in stable we have used he leela went to the park she wanted to play so leela is noun and she is pronoun very good last sentence sheena is a dancer she dances very well so sheena is a noun and she is pronoun as we are using she in the place of sheena so i think pronouns must be clear by now next word which is important and which we have to use are certain other words like this in picture we are seeing that apple is under the table here in another picture a girl is standing in front of window this boy is sitting on the sofa so the words like under in front of and on these words are used to join sentences and make them more meaningful and they are called prepositions so let's see it. prepositions are words used to link nouns pronouns and phrases to other words in the sentence they are important for sentence formation now let's see some examples in on with under before into to for between after at from by in front of behind now let's form certain sentences using these prepositions i live in my house here in means inside the house so in is preposition and it is used for joining live and house next sentence the images are on this page so here on is preposition you can play after you finish studying so here the person is saying to another person that you can play but after you finish your studying so after is the joining word and this is called preposition this book belongs to amar so books is belonging to amar so to is the preposition the cat is under the table where is the cat under the table i wake up before my sister so i wake up before my sister means i am getting up before my sister that means before is prepositions so i hope prepositions are clear now let's start with a short story here we are going to recite a st- story about a cow her name was bhuri so let's read the story bhuri is a cow bhuri is a female cow she has a bell on her neck She has black spots on her body. Her nose and ears are big. She goes to the farm every morning. 
she gives us milk her milk is used to make curd and paneer bhuri is a good cow so what do you get from this story we have to find certain nouns and pronouns so what is a noun in this story can you tell me yes bhuri the name of cow is bhuri so bhuri is noun she she is pronoun because we are using this word in the place of bhuri her her was also used in the place of bhuri as you can see this short story has both pronouns nouns and prepositions in it now let's move on to a very interesting activity and it is called picture composition as you can see a picture in front of you you can see there are trees there is children playing there is dog there is bird and all of them are doing certain activities so now i will give you certain parts of this picture and you have to form a paragraph so let's start with the first part here you can see the picture of tree and park the next picture is of children the birds and they are playing next pic is of lamp post next picture is of dogs and the last one is of girl the last one picture is of girl so now you have to use these words to form a paragraph for example i will tell you there are many trees in the park so we form one sentence there are many trees in the park so we have used the both the words trees and park similarly you have to use these words as your markers and you have to form a short paragraph regarding that picture so i hope you will do it and enjoy doing it i hope you are very clear about the concept students yes ma'am yes ma'am very good so now it's practice time students now is practice time we will practice all the concepts which we have seen in the video so let's start with noun here you have to fill the blanks with the noun and you have to guess the noun by seeing the picture behind the sentence for example dash goes to the park daily here the picture is of a boy so what would be the answer yes we have to fill the name of this boy similarly there is a dash plant in my house here you can see the picture of plant in the pot so you just have to write the name of the plant reshma likes to eat wow what is the picture of yes you can guess easily next dash is made up of white marble here the picture is of a place or a monument so let's go to the answers okay very good sohan goes to the park daily the boy name is sohan so the noun in this sentence is sohan there is a very good rose plant in my house as we can see the plant of rose in this pot reshma likes to eat yum grapes as you can see the picture is of grapes taj mahal is made up of white marble yes as you can see the picture is of taj mahal and taj mahal is a place so in this sentence taj mahal is noun very good students 
let's move on to the next exercise of pronoun here we also have few sentences and pictures in front of them you have to guess the pronoun which has to be filled in these blanks kavita is my friend this flute is dash milk is a popular drink dash gives us energy <clears throat> milk is a popular drink dash gives us energy sagar is a good artist dash has many trophies richa and reema are sisters dash love each other very much so i think now you must be sure which pronouns have been filled so let's go and see the answers kavita is my friend this flute is hers so the pronoun which is filled is hers milk is a popular drink it gives us energy the pronoun is it sagar is a good artist he has many trophies so the pronoun is he richa and reema are sisters they love each other very much so the pronoun is they yes you have guessed and you know it very rightly very good students now let's move on to the next exercise of prepositions here also you have to see the picture and fill in the blanks so let's move to the answers straight away as i know that all of my students are ready and jumping to tell the answers so let's move on to the answers yes the dog is sitting on the table as you can see the dog is sitting on the table so on is the preposition sita is dancing in front of the mirror here we can very clearly see that sita is dancing in front of mirror the boys are playing with football so with is the preposition this book belongs to anita so this book uh, here anita this book belongs to anita so you can very well see and guess that to is the preposition very good students as your homework students now you have to look out for various noun words around your house around your surroundings and try to frame sentences including those words okay ma'am it will be fun it is really very interesting ma'am thank you